Who am I? Why did I come here? What's the point in it all? What do I need it for? What's the point? These are the typical questions most of us ask at one point or another over our lifetime. What's the point? In my case, barely anybody knows the difference whether I'm dead or alive. I'm not kidding, by the way. There's really anybody who knows the difference whether I'm dead or alive. I've had so many people come and go in my life. So many. I've taken an inventory. I actually think I'm very fortunate. It's a beautiful way to exist. I don't exist with dependency on other people. That was my sole contract. The thought invokes in me a kind of sentiment, a kind of feeling of peace, of serenity. Some of you might be thinking by now, oh, this person is a little crazy. That's why everybody leaves them. I get it, the deep voice. I get it now, the deep voice. Transgender. You don't want to go there. <laughs> you don't want to touch that one. <sighs> Come on, Jessica, bring it on. I'm, I'm, I'm cool to bring it. To hear about it, I'm cool to bring it on. You're possibly saying now. To be transgender is a gift. It's a double whammy. You get to experience life in two different genders. And you also get to face rejection make a decision. Do I want to react to the rejection? Or do I want to respond to the rejection? You can make a clear choice. Many people choose to react to rejection. It's easier. Makes more sense. It's the programming. We're conditioned to react. React. Don't respond. React. That's why all the atrocities around the world are taking place. Because people react instead of respond. It's not worth it. Yes, I'm transgender. I got to experience life in two different genders. Yes, I faced rejection. Which brought on another layer of Benevolence, God shared with me amazing gifts, people in my life came and went, whether it was rejection because I came out as transgender, or it was rejection because people only supported me when I was going through the courts because it was convenient, the issues of the day, I was making headlines, people wanted to be part of it, it was fun, drama, drama! <laughs> There was an interesting scene that played out when I was in court in 2018. Um, at the time, there was a famous case going on in England concerning a father who was devoutly religious, or rather became devout, and they wanted to pull the plug on his kid who was very ill, and he was on life support. And um, the judge overseeing my case was also taking care of that case at the same time in the same court building in the same place it was world news at the time there, were, there was a pastor from america that was heavily involved and he was going to come over from america and prove the case it was, it was a it was international the, the case was making international headlines and um i remember the day we had our court hearing me and my ex, we obviously sat very far apart. And um, the judge said, just don't be surprised if you leave the building. You see journalists all, ar all around them. Maybe even riots going on because this is getting quite intense. 
Um, it was Judge, Judge Hayden, in case, in case you want to look it up. In any case, um, for the first time in my life, I think, I observed how my ex cracked a joke. My ex said, you're still coming with the guns? Let's all duck. I thought that was pretty sharp. That was pretty cool. It was a pretty cool joke. It was pretty funny. My ex was not one to make jokes. My ex was very serious. Life is not so serious, you know? Be light like a feather. Be gentle like a leaf. Be more playful. If at this point you gotta play it like a chess game, alright. But I prefer if you could play it like a Monopoly game. That's a lot more convenient. A lot easier. A lot more effective. Your life will come way, way more effective if you play it like a Monopoly game. Yeah, you gotta engage your people, you gotta take them seriously, but don't take it don't take it too seriously. That's the point. Play your life like a Monopoly game. Aim to do that. Be light like a feather, gentle like a leaf, and be playful. I was listening to a spiritual teacher the other day, and he spoke about the importance of being playful. The importance of not taking everything so seriously and having fun while you, while you're here. You're not going to be here forever. Nobody stays here forever. <laughs> Newsflash, newsflash, surprise. None of us stay here forever. <gasps> Jessica's definitely a genius. Jessica's figured that one out. Wow. I'm definitely going to subscribe now to Jessica's channel. <laughs> That's a great insight. I never knew that. I thought I stayed here forever. I'm kidding. No, everybody knows you don't stay here forever. Or perhaps you don't. I don't know. Most of us do, do believe that we're staying here forever. The way, the way we look at life, the way we take things, the way we absorb and reactive situations definitely gives the implication that we have this kind of illusion. We think we're staying here forever. We're not staying here forever. Nobody stays here forever. When my father passed on September 5th, which is just uh, almost four months ago now, I was like dragged into an awareness I never expected to, to get into. I was like, whoa. Didn't expect that to happen. Where did that come from? <sighs> and then people said to me, Oh, you'll never get over it. We'll never get over grief. Bereavement? It's here to stay for life, Jessica. I was like, really? It took me about a month or two, but... I'm past it. I'm not breathing anymore. <laughs> Unless you consider my lightheadedness and my... Um, Easy charm, my grace to be a form of grieving. The person dies. I don't, I don't run this world. I didn't, I didn't make, I didn't plan this world. I don't, I don't put the people here. Everyone is only here for a short period. Some get 80 years, some get 100 years. Some, I have a little brother who only got 15 months. All right. Might as well have fun. I take it seriously. Joke around. What my ex taught me on that day is drop a joke. Yeah, it's very serious. The, the rift between us, my ex wouldn't talk about me ever. I don't exist in my ex's life. Cool. <laughs> it's very, very serious. For the most part, it's very, very serious. <laughs> but in court, for some reason, it was. It was um, my ex's joke actually really. Lighten the mood, I remember. It made people feel a lot more at ease. We didn't take it so seriously afterwards. Or maybe we did, but it was more of a pretense kind of taking seriously. Life is a gift and the giver is good. Life is a gift and the giver is good. What do you think about my changes on my channel? Do you enjoy it? And what do you think about my more relaxed nature now? With this video and the change video. <laughs> do you like it? Do you appreciate it? Do you want to see more of it? Or do you want me to get back into <sighs> You gotta take it seriously. Life is dead serious. Otherwise, you don't know what's coming. Which do you prefer? 
Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about taking life a little lighter? Play it like a Monopoly game. Be gentle like a leaf. Light like a feather. Wouldn't you want to be like a feather, by the way? Could just move at ease. Not take it too seriously. Let me know. I look forward to hearing from you. Or not hearing from you, if that's your thing. Because life is very rigid, very, very serious. That's okay. Or if you're the type that has to press the dislike button. That's cool. No problem by me. All good. Let's take it lighter. Let's not take it so seriously. Let's relax. Let's take it easy. We're not here forever. Might as well have fun. Subscribe if you haven't already. Or don't subscribe because that's not your thing. Cool, cool. I respect whatever choice you make. <laughs> Take it easy. Love you. Bye.